I know that we've got, well, Mel's from Gold Coast. We've got Amira from Peru. Amazing. Victoria, Susie. Lovely. Got Jay from the Philippines. Yay. <laughs> All over. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. I am going to share my screen so that we can Brisbane, Camel, beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm going to share my screen so you can guys can see the slides. And then we will get started. All right. Can everybody see me in the slides? Yep. Perfect. And hear me? Audio is good. Amazing. All righty. Well, welcome and thank you so much for being here. I am super grateful that you've taken some time out of your day to hang out with me. And most importantly, hopefully that you'll learn something new and elevate your presence in the health and wellness industry. So I hope you've all got a notebook and pen with you to take some notes. Um, if not, Jay's going to drop a link in for a little workbook that uh, we've created to help you along with the talk. Um, so you can check that out in the chat box when she puts it in there and click on that. I think it is a PDF where you can type in as well. So you've got that with you. So let's get started with a fact because I love merging facts and science with ancient wisdom and spirituality. The fact is that integrating Ayurvedic principles into your wellness practice can 10 times your client outcomes and business growth without 10 times in your effort. Now, this is a true story. This is possible when you elevate your presence in the health and wellness industry and become a trusted leader. I went from seeing as little as one client per month in 2017 to booked out by 2019 and successfully moving into my business full time in 2020. So this is a snapshot of my business as it stands today. I work between 20 to 25 hours a week. Um, I take anywhere between four to 10 client calls or um or different types of calls and clients per week. I spend 55% on marketing and 45% on delivery and admin. I have a small team of contractors. So I've got two people that work in my business. The majority of my revenue stream comes from one-to-one -one clients, my courses and events, and I've seen consistent revenue growth year over year. With consistency and the right approach, becoming a trusted leader in the health and wellness industry is totally achievable. This will allow you to expand your client base, boost your income, and make a profitable impact on the well-being of your community. Now, these aren't just my results. I've tested my approach with students for over six years plus years. You can see here some beautiful testimonials that they have shared with me on Google or in our Facebook group. And yeah, it's, so it's not just me. It's a proven, proven to work and some more beautiful, wonderful testimonials. As you can see, I've screenshot from Google or the Facebook group. So you can read them as well. Um, so I want to say that you should, I want you to, first of all, type in the chat box what your profession is. So what do you guys all do in the health and wellness industry? So no, we've got already, we've got some Ayurveda coaches in here. Got business mentors, Ayurveda digestive health coach, wonderful. Counseling, creative arts therapy, beautiful. Spinal flow practitioner, amazing. So we have got some really amazing Powerful women in here doing beautiful things. Susie Yoga, Ayurveda, hands-on healing, astrology readings, and Akashic record readings. So many amazing women with so many beautiful skills. Now, you should not apologize for wanting to follow your dharma, your purpose, becoming a trusted leader, and making great money doing it. Because we know that... Uh, like money is a vehicle for doing amazing things for yourself, your family, and most importantly, well, not most importantly, but importantly, your community as well. So I am really excited that we've got so many wonderful pro professionals and health and wellness practitioners here today 
to be working on their purpose. I am more passionate than ever about teaching others how to do this so they can create wealth, optimal health, and a more flexible lifestyle whilst living their dharma. And if you haven't heard the word bef dharma before, it is a Sanskrit word that loosely translates to purpose, but it actually has so much more meaning than that. And you can see in my snapshots here, this is my purpose. This is my, my love, my dharma. I've got my family, travel, spirituality, the beach, everything. This is why I do this. But before I get too excited, I should introduce myself to those who are meeting me for the very first time today. Hello, I'm Harmony. I'm a proud mama of twin boys. I'm a Vata Pitta Dosha. I'm a yogi, a real estate and stock investor, world traveler, life enthusiast, self-professed chai latte lover, and an Ayurvedic and women's health practitioner, business mentor, and the founder of the Ayurveda Alchemist Academy, who helps health and wellness entrepreneurs step into their higher self and become trusted industry leaders. Now, guys, I am legit. I will. <laughs> I want to tell you, I am legit. I built my business from scratch, literally from zero clients to seeing my first client in my lounge room to now having helped thousands of women all over the world with their health and business. I have my own podcast that gets thousands of downloads monthly and we've just hit five years and I've been invited and taught on international platforms and have been a finalist for multiple business awards and ran a successful health and wellness business. I have been featured in Ayurvedic publications and magazines as well as collaborated with a lot of well-known businesses both here in Australia and overseas. I've worked in the health and wellness industry for over 19 years. I've worked as a clinical nurse in the emergency department, operating theatre and Australia's leading health retreats. And at the time of recording, I'm almost finished a master's degree in applied science of acupuncture. I am always looking at ways to up-level the practitioner that I am and positively impact my clients and students' lives by sharing the wisdom I have learned and acquired. Now, let's talk about you. This is right for you becoming, if you are, you want to become a trusted leader in the health and wellness industry, it is right for you if you are passionate about holistic health and aspire to share it with the world, creating a global impact and a, an abundantly successful career. You want to achieve deeper and faster transformations for your clients, turning them into raving fans and lifelong cheerleaders. You love personal development and growth, knowing that these are key factors in up-leveling your business and becoming a trusted leader. And you feel that this is your dharma, your purpose, and you're willing to put in the work to become a trusted leader in the health and wellness space. Now, this masterclass is also for you if you fall into any of these categories. You're a coach, healer, or practitioner, but you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed and time-strapped. You're lacking differentiation, so you want to stand out in the crowded health and wellness field, but you're not sure how to leverage your unique skill set and knowledge, or you desire greater authority and impact. You're eager to build your reputation and establish yourself as a trusted leader in holistic health, but you're not sure where to start. Or maybe you seek deeper client transformations or you're craving personal growth and flexibility. You are a service-based business struggling to get new clients and need a way to grow your business sustainably. You experience burnout from client work. You're exhausted from constantly delivering services that you don't love and crave, and you just crave a more balanced and fulfilling approach. You're seeking better client relationships, so you want to attract clients who respect your expertise and are aligned with your values, avoiding those who are overly demanding and needy. Have we had clients like that, guys? Yeah, we don't, <laughs> it doesn't make our work fun, right? We want to attract the right clients. Maybe you're needing a new revenue stream. You're looking for innovative ways to diversify your income to ensure financial stability, or you're aspiring to educate and inspire. 
or perhaps you're a yoga or Pilates teacher and you want another way to serve your clients more deeply and longer lasting, or you want to create a consistent revenue stream in your business that doesn't require you to drive to a million different yoga studios or Pilates studios per day. Like I've been there and I got so burnt out doing that. And maybe you want to establish yourself as an expert and a mentor. But above all else, you're a go-getter. You are ambitious and committed to creating a business that supports your lifestyle, lets you design your days, travel and live life on your terms whilst being of service and fulfilling your dharma and purpose. So give me a hands up in the chat box, like a yes, an emoji, whatever it is, if you feel like you meet this criteria of becoming a trusted leader in the health and wellness industry. Now, yes, yes, Susie says, lots of yeses, lots of exclamation marks. Mel, we know it. Yes, Amara, love. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Every one of you are here to become that trusted leader. And I love that. Hey, Hannah. So the truth is that most health and wellness professionals struggle with burnout and inconsistent income because they haven't positioned themselves as a trusted leader in their field. Another truth is, guys, you need to be sitting at the right table, a table with other trusted leaders in the industry. So being here today is a really smart business move. Most health and, and wellness entrepreneurs are not seen as leaders because they blend into the crowd lacking a distinctive voice and presence. So here's a hard truth, guys. Approximately 20% of small businesses fail within the first year. And 50% fail by the fifth year due to a lack of differentiation and authority. The reality is if you're not standing out, you're fading into the background. Elevating your presence is crucial. Think of it as being the Chanel or Louis Vuitton of the wellness industry. Without a strong distinctive presence, you're just another brand in a sea of competitors. Now is your moment to shine and make a significant impact. Now, Here's for the good news. The good news is that since 2020, the demand for health and wellness support is booming. According to Google Trends, searches for wellness-related topics have increased by over 50% in the past four years. People are actively seeking trusted leaders and holistic solutions. This is your chance to step up, stand out, and meet this growing demand with your unique expertise and passion. So I've got you guys, I have got you today. In this class, we're actually going to um, cover three different trainings, which is super exciting. So the first training is going to be the truth behind failed holistic health practices. The second training is going to be the secrets of a trusted leader. And the third training is going to be about amplifying your impact and influence through purpose. And a little heads up, at the end of our trainings today, you'll receive an exclusive opportunity to join my flagship program, the Ayurveda Alchemist, with a sweet bonus not found anywhere else. Plus, we will announce the winner of the one-to-one -one, two-week business mentorship program with myself. So if you stay to the end, you go in the draw to win a business mentorship with me. But before we get into the first training, I wanna get a little interactive with you all. So in the chat box, I would love for you to type the number that resonates with you today the most. This will help me be able to deliver the best information to you in the best way, which will help you get some small little wins along the way. So number one, type number one, if you resonate with this. Number one, you're struggling to get life-changing results for your clients. Or number two, you're not growing your business at the rate you know you could. Number three, you're feeling disconnected from your true purpose. Or number four, you're fighting to show the world who you are and all the potential you offer. If you resonate with any of these, please type the number of the one that resonates with you the most in the chat box. All righty, so what have we got? We've got quite a lot of twos. And a four, a three, two, two again. 
So mostly two, not growing your business at the rate you know you could. Okay. And feeling a little disconnected from purpose and a little bit of fighting the, sh the world to show who you. Okay. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for letting me know that I can direct most of the information towards those things. So now I know why you're here. Let's get into the very first training. The training is the truth behind failed holistic health practice. So there are three truths behind a failed holistic health practice. Number one is inconsistent application of principles. Two, lack of personalization. And three is poor business strategy. So number one, inconsistent application of principles. That's in clinical practice and online practice, online presence, I should say. So imagine you have your favorite yoga teacher who initially inspired you with her insightful classes and engaging presence on social media. You look forward to her weekly posts and updates. You're eagerly anticipating her new tips and videos, but suddenly she stops posting regularly. And she even stops going to her classes. She's always getting like a cover in to cover for her classes. Her updates become really sporadic and she misses those scheduled classes without explanation. You start to begin to feel disconnected and unsure about her reliability. Eventually, you stop following her and seek out another yoga teacher who is consistent and dependable. Or example two, the unreliable nutritionist. Consider you're a you're considering a nutritionist. So once you trust you go to this trusted expert for advice and personalization of meal plans, she helps you feel a lot healthier and energized. However, she starts to just miss your appointments. Like you show up online for a Zoom appointment with your nutritionist and she's just not there. Her responses to your email become really delayed and infrequent. You notice she's not updating her blog or social media with the latest nutritional advice. And as a result, you start to lose confidence in her commitment and begin looking for another nutritionist who is constantly available and engaged with her clients. So why does consistency matter? It builds trust. Like that's the number one. It absolutely builds trust. A consistent application of principles ensures reliable and predictable results, which helps build trust with your clients. It enhances professionalism. A structured approach in both clinical practice and online presence demonstrates professionalism and a deep understanding of holistic health practices. It boosts your client retention and it strengthens your brand. Regular engagement on social media and through email marketing establishes your authority and keeps your audience engaged. Like you guys wouldn't be here if you hadn't seen me or on social or read my email. By being consistent, you ensure that your clients receive the highest quality care and you remain top of mind in your field. And that's important. If you're not consistent, this may lead to a failed health practice. So, Guys, are you being consistent? Just a simple yes or no in the chat. Be honest. Are you being consistent both online and in your clinical practice? No, love it, Camel. Love, not online. Good. I'm loving this. No, 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 guys. <laughs> well, we already know one thing we can we can work on. So, so, Amara. I feel like you're very consistent online, Amara, though. Anyway, the next... The next one, number two, is lack of personalization results in generic and an ineffective solution. So perhaps your clients, they're doing yoga, they're eating superfood salads and listening to self-improvement, a spiritual awakening podcast on the drive to work, but they're not making any progress they want and deserve because they're not doing the things that are right for their unique mind, body, constitution and emotional needs. All the things they're doing just start to become another thing to tick off the to-do list. The problem is that all of those trendy health things that your clients are doing are usually done from a reactive state and focusing on the superficial benefits without the deep-rooted intent and meaning that is specific to them. All of this is just an expensive lesson in trendy self-development. Now, I am a big believer in self-development and education. So all of those things aren't inherently wrong, but it's like trying on a beautiful sequence Gucci sweater that looks great on the model, but just isn't suited to your individual style and personality. So even with the expensive price tag, it just doesn't work for you. 
The very foundation of our health lies in understanding our unique bioconstitution, which is determined at birth and can become imbalanced over time, resulting in symptoms and disease states. Now, this may be an unpopular opinion and might make some people feel a little annoyed, but many health professionals and wellness professionals remain unaware of this crucial aspect. Instead, they adopt a rigid approach favoring their exclusive natural health methods and operating in black and white terms without realizing what true holistic health encompasses. Having a deep understanding of your mind-body constitution not only amplifies your own health needs, but it also becomes a foundation of your work as a health practitioner that will make your life easier and get your clients' results faster. Now, here's why this is so important. I really enjoy keeping fit and practice and participating in physical activities to support my health. I love Muay Thai, yoga, Pilates, running and hiking. But if you told me that the only way to optimize my health and balance my hormones was to swim laps in a pool every day and then sit in an ice bath, I would dread physical activity and have no motivation to optimize my health. Plus, ice baths would disturb my individual bioconstitution, leading to an increased likelihood of disease. Amara says in the chat, not good for your vata. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I am talking about. Following a one size fits all approach to health that doesn't align with my unique bioconstitution is like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, causing potential harm to my physical and mental well-being. Or imagine you're a health and wellness practitioner guiding a client through anxiety management. You suggest breath work as a potential solution, believing it can work wonders for her. However, it's important to remember that not all breath work is a perfect fit for everyone. In this case, your client, unaware of the nuances, attends a breath work class centered around intense hyperventilation. As a result, her overworked central nervous system leaves her feeling even worse than before. So guys, applying a one-size-fits-all method to anxiety management without considering an individual's bioconstitution is like prescribing the same medication to every patient, disregarding potential adverse reactions and overlooking the importance of personalized care. Once we understand our client's unique bioconstitution, we can then customize the five-step approach to wellness transformation. Now, this is true health alchemy. From an Ayurvedic perspective, and what I teach my students is that ultimately, every want body wants a full mind-body transformational experience, whether they know it or not. Their ultimate goal is is to step into their higher self so that they can show up as the person they want to be in relationships, health, career, social settings, etc. Not just heal their hormones. Like they want more than that. There's a reason why they want to heal their hormones. It's all of this other stuff as well. And to do that, we need to take a five-step approach, making sure that their physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and dharmic health has been addressed. Health practices fail when they can't create true health alchemy. And number three, the third lesson in this first training is core business strategy. Many practitioners are skilled in their field, but they lack the business acumen to grow and sustain their practice. Often it's a simple case of not mastering the foundations and not having built the soul of your business, which is your unique methodology that helps you stand out from other practitioners and become a trusted leader. This sets you up with a strong personal brand. Without a strong personal brand and authority, practitioners struggle to gain trust and recognition, resulting in a lack of clients. Clients are more likely to seek out professionals who are recognized and respected in their field, Without establishing authority, it's challenging to build this trust. The absence of a strong personal brand and or disconnect from your purpose, mission, and message 
leads to fewer client inquiries and conversations, stalling business growth, leading to a failed health practice. So guys, do you have a business strategy in place that is going to position yourself as a trusted leader? Yes or no? So I know where to go with this. No. Okay. Beautiful. All righty. Well, let's move on to our next hard to some people saying hard to say, not many people. Okay. That's for the business strategy. Tricky. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes and no. It, there's a lot of trial and error, um, but with the business strategy, there is a lot of trial and error, but when you have created the soul of your business, the unique methodology, it is so much easier to plan out everything from there. And we'll touch on that in a bit of the, la the third training as well. So the second training is the three secrets of a trusted leader. So now we know why health and wellness businesses fail. Let's look at three secrets of a trusted leader. This will give us a few things that we can work on and work towards to become that trusted leader. So the first one is that they work on their mindset first. You can't lead from a disempowered state. So this type of work is imperative. To become a trusted leader, it's crucial to identify and overcome the mental blocks holding you back. The Empowered Mind Paradigm Pillar we teach in the Ayurveda Alchemist program offers the tools and mindset shifts needed to break free from these limitations, allowing you to step into your full potential and lead with confidence and authority. For me, Ayurvedic psychology drives success. One of the biggest reasons it helped me is understanding my own mind and what influences my thought patterns. Now, deep down, I am sure that you're aware that your mindset plays a pivotal role in your success. But despite your awareness, you find yourself struggling to break free from the beliefs that have held you back for far too long. And I'm telling you that Ayurvedic psychology is the answer to you finally being able to achieve mindset mastery so that you can achieve your ultimate success story, whether that's climbing Mount Everest and reaching the summit with strength and endurance or running an ethical and purpose-driven business that supports your adventurous, free, living lifestyle. But here's the mind-blowing truth. We have been taught that in order to achieve success, we either need to accomplish all of our goals with a just-do-it, hustle-and-grind mindset, or manifest our dreams into reality. But this, on its own, is fundamentally flawed. The real problem lies in overlooking the intricate layers of the mind as understood in Ayurvedic psychology. It's not about repeating positive affirmations in the mirror and trying to manifest your way to success, whether that is with your health, relationships, or business. Now, I am a manifester. Manifester is a real thing and it's amazing, but that alone isn't going to get you exactly where you want to and need to be. Trusted leaders have a great understanding of the different layers of their mind, what drives their decisions, what drives their clients' decisions, and how to harness the full potential of their mind, which includes activating all six layers. And so you might be asking, what are those six layers? Well, I am going to share those with you. I'm going to say how and why we need to be using these. So the first one, the first layer is the buddhi mind, the discerning intellect. You use your discerning intellect to make clear, rational decisions, which helps you analyze situations effectively and choose the best course of action. Now, why you need to, to activate this part of the mind is trusted leaders need to make informed decisions that benefits the clients and their business, establishing credibility and trust. Then we need to understand the use of the chitta mind, the subconscious mind, tapping into your subconscious mind to understand deep-seated beliefs and patterns that influence your behavior and decision-making. Because recognizing and addressing subconscious patterns allows you to overcome limiting beliefs and achieve personal growth, which is crucial for leadership. Then we need to understand manas, the sensory mind. This is engaging your sensory mind to stay present and fully experience your environment. So right now, using your manas mind, enhancing your awareness and responsiveness. 
By being attuned to sensory experiences, this helps you to connect better with your clients, creating a more empathetic and holistic practice. And the Vijnana mind is our intuitive mind. This is how like, we use this mind for trust and develop our intuitive mind to make better decisions based on our inner knowing and our gut feeling. Intuitions often provides insights that our logical thinking mind misses. So allowing you to make more holistic and effective decisions as a leader. Then we also have some scars, which are actually impressions or imprints left on the chitta mind, the subconscious mind. So we need to be aware of these samskaras because these impressions left by past experiences and how they shape your response and behavior, when we can understand these imprints, it really helps us break free from negative patterns and fosters positive growth, essential for leading by example. And finally, the ahamkara, the ego mind. Now, the, the ahamkara, we, we often think the ego mind is something evil or bad, like we talk about the ego, but we do need the ego mind. We really do. But we need to know how to manage our ego mind by recognizing when it influences your decisions and actions. A balanced ego is essential for humility and self-awareness, traits that are highly valued in trusted leaders. So by integrating these aspects of your mind and understanding how you're going to use them for decision-making makes balanced decisions by combining intellect, intuition, and sensory input. It leads to well-rounded and effective leadership decisions. It enhances our self-awareness. It builds authentic connections and it helps us achieve holistic success. Now, after imp implementing Ayurvedic psychology and the Empowered Mind Paradigm, my student Anna came to the realization that she was limiting her dreams and success. She was self-sabotaging by working on meaningless activities in her business that kept her busy from doing the things that would truly make a difference and get her to be the high-level wellness coach she knew she could be. Anna had pictured herself talking on a stage about corporate health and well-being and leading retreats for corporate leaders, but she was too afraid to put herself out there. She suffered from imposter syndrome and negative self-talk. But after working on her mindset through Ayurvedic psychology, Anna decided to give it a go. And the rest is history. She is literally traveling around, running workshop retreats and speaking for high-end corporations, earning a pretty dollar while she's doing it. Although Anna had attempted many mindset activities before, she never made much progress because she didn't understand the foundations of her own mental constitution and belief patterns. The difference with Ayurvedic psychology and the empowered mind paradigm is that it helps you and or your clients gain insights into their underlying beliefs, triggers, patterns, and behaviors. It is then easy for them to identify and transform limiting beliefs by creating new neural pathways that support their new empowered beliefs. Anna did it for herself first, and now she is teaching her clients how to do it. So that was a lot <laughs> for, the, for the very first one um, point of the three secrets to a trusted leader. But the second secret they have, which I touched on before, is that they have a proprietary methodology or framework that forms the soul of their business, which we will talk about a little more in the third session as well. But basically, a lot of you guys had said that you're, you're saying that you, you know, when I asked you at the start of the the um, talk, a lot of you said you were unsure about how to grow your business or your business isn't growing at the rate you know it could, or maybe you didn't have a business strategy. Now, this is so important. This has to be your business strategy, it has to be the foundation of your business strategy, and it will help you grow your business. This proprietary method or framework must do this one thing. It has to solve a problem that people will pay money for. Yeah. So this is part of your strategy. <laughs> this one is super important because if you are not currently solving someone's problem, you won't be seen as a leader. That's it. You just won't. People always want to know what's in it for them, whether that's how are you going to so solve their health issue, mentally prepare them for their big event or help strategize their business. They have a problem. And if you are in the leader's seat, you will be able to help them solve that problem and they will see you as that leader. So I want to ask 
you now, what is the problem you solve for people and what proprietary method do you use to solve that problem? Write that question down so you can go back to this after the talk because this is super important. But if you already just know the problem you solve, then I'd love to, for you guys to put that in the chat box so we can see what problem you guys are solving for everybody out there. The three main problem areas that people will pay for help with is wealth, health, and relationships. So if you are going to solve a big problem and one of these three things are the problems that you solve, then you are on the right track to being able to have a really successful business. Now, the third secret of a trusted leader is that they special, they're specialist, they're not generalist. Okay, so mamas, so the problem that uh, she solves, she says in the chat, yoga classes for people to de-stress and advance their practice. Beautiful. So I guess when you're looking at the, that as the problem, we want to know why they need to de-stress. So what is the stressors as well? So going even deeper, like that'll get you really nailing that message across. But let's talk about number three. The One of the secrets of a trusted leader is they position themselves as a specialist, amplifying the impact that they can make and aligning with their unique purpose. So I want to ask you, like, would you go see a general dentist if you needed orthodontic braces? Or would you go to a general surgeon if you needed cardiac bypass surgery? Would you hire a product-based business coach with no intel into the health and wellness industry over a specialized health and wellness business mentor? Now, trusted leaders, they don't claim to be able to help everyone and anyone. They are sought after because they are specialists in their field and they don't use the excuse of my industry is too saturated. Why? Because they call bullshit. Others having success in your niche means there is demand in the marketplace for what you have to offer. It means there is a problem that people are paying to solve. Now, I'm an Ayurvedic practitioner who specializes in women's health, and I train other people to do exactly what I'm doing because I know there's a demand out there for it. So how do you differentiate yourself? You need to lean into what makes you different. So you might be saying, but Harmony, so-and-so already kills it in the industry. How can I even compete? Says your imposter syndrome that we just learn about in Ayurvedic psychology, right? <laughs> but that's like saying Nike already crushes it in athletic shoe sales. So there's no room in the marketplace for other shoe companies. But I can tell you, I, I like Brooks. I've got Sacconis. I've got New Balance. I've got all different shoes. It's not just Nikes, right? Because it's not just about being the one and only. To be seen as a trusted leader, you need to differentiate your offer with a unique framework. So that's the soul of your business we've been talking about. You need to step into your story. You need to focus on clients' results by working with their unique bioconstitution, which we have already talked about as well. And you need to amplify your impact through purpose. So I'm going to break these down for you in this training so that you can get really clear and use this as a strategy to move your business forward today. So you want to differentiate your offer. What makes your way of solving this problem different from everybody else? So different. So you're uh, running the yoga class. So mama, I'm you, it says mama's phone, so I'm sorry, I'm not sure of your, your real name. If maybe it's mama, but mama. So you said yoga classes to help people distress. Now, a lot of yoga classes are going to do that or a lot of 
yoga teachers are going to claim to do that. So what makes your way of solving this problem different from every other yoga teacher? This is where when you start to get clarity on these things, you really start to build that leadership, that thought leadership, what people see and trust. And also Amira, she also says as her, the problem she solves, she said in the chat, I help millennial women manage rosacea using Ayurveda rather than relying on topical solutions that only focus on symptoms and not root cause. Now, I love this example because that that is to the point. It's rosacea. It's not all skin disorders, she's, which she does treat as well, but she's really clear on rosacea through Ayurveda. So that's really clear. I love that, Amara. Really good example. But again, now start to think what differentiates your offer from other people in the, the field of Ayurveda doing skincare and health. You need to sell a unique way of solving the problem. And this is by creating your own approach or methodology. So this is the soul of your business. To show you that this method truly works for creating holistic success, I want to share some of my student success stories with you. So we already spoke about Anna. So she specialized in men's health and has created her own holistic framework called MENS. Now, she has gotten such great results with her clients since graduating from the Ayurveda Alchemist and implementing her framework that she has been in magazine publications, run live workshops, like I said, she's traveling around doing all the things she dreamt of, and since then has also become a public or a public, sorry, a published author. Now, the beautiful Mel, she has um, done her high-end signature program that helps women heal from past traumas, but she's still using that same unique methodology to now implement into her high-end business mentorship and coaching for mindset, so business mindset for women. So she has used her methodology plus her unique approach by weaving in her existing experience as a life coach and a newfound, her newfound Ayurvedic techniques as well. She's also using the methodology, as I mentioned, to help women overcome mindset blocks. After graduating from the Ayurveda Alchemist, Jackie, she built up authority as a women's holistic weight loss coach using her proprietary method and was able to leave her corporate finance job. And we've got Emma, who went on to live her dream of opening a yoga studio and running successful in-person Ayurvedic cleansers. She's also developing an online version um, using her framework and has become a Lululemon ambassador because she started to be seen as a trusted leader and authority in the field. Jodi launched her business by teaching her method of self-love in workshop format. She infuses the principles of Ayurveda and her background in meditation. Colors build authority by infusing Ayurvedic kinesi with kinesiology to form her signature framework for getting her clients really good holistic results, like exceptional results. And Meg had brought her many talents to the table, being a social worker, Pilates instructor, and now an Ayurveda holistic health coach, and is fusing her skills to offer that true mind-body healing. Jen is a self-sabotage mind coach for women in business, and she's created her own unique method, which gets her clients not only results in their business, but with their physical health by incorporating those Ayurvedic principles as well. So you can see that by creating the soul of your business with already your existing wonderful skills you have, you can really stand out from the field. Now, the second step is to really step into your story. So guys, why are you like, why are you here? Why are you learning from me today? Maybe it's because you want to learn from someone who has the same lifestyle goals as you. Maybe you find my story relatable Maybe you're an Aussie who loves Shit's Creek as much as I do. Um, you like a the way or the strategy that I teach or you resonate with my same desire for a business that allows flexibility, freedom, travel, time with kids, giving back and living an amazing life. But there's something you resonate with through my stories that I have shared or through what I've posted on social all coming from the soul of my business. Your offer needs to have your unique story, approach, and experience all over it. And there's an audience out there in the market waiting for you to learn from you. So share your story. This is exactly what one of my students did who was afraid to tell their story, but it was their story that positioned themselves as a leader because they had firsthand experience, which made her clients trust her more. She then created her unique framework, 
made up of the steps she took to overcome her trauma and health issues. She applied this method to her clients whilst working with their individual constitutions, so their doshas, and this gave my students so much purpose and fulfillment in what she was doing because it was so embedded in authenticity, ancient wisdom of Ayurveda and her unique experience. And then number three is to make your client results your priority. Now, this is why my very first pillar in my higher self method and what I teach in the Ayurveda Alchemist program is health alchemy and understanding your client's unique bioconstitution, because this is what will get your clients next level results. And if you focus on getting clients results and then share the testimonials, it doesn't matter how much competition you have because you have proof that your way works and people buy for that again and again. Now, at the start of this, I showed you a few slides with a lot of testimonials on there showing you the proof that, hey, I'm legit. I've helped people do this. So again, this was this was actually my first testimonial and it took me a couple of years to even start collecting them. So I wish I had done that at the very start of my business journey. So please guys, don't do what I did. Learn from my mistake because testimonials build trust and proof. Start collecting them now if you haven't already. And if you are collecting them, use them guys. Okay, we're on to our final training, our number three, our third training of three um, in this masterclass. How are we all going, guys? How are we all feeling? Is it like, whoo, it's a lot to take in, right? Good. Awesome. Don't worry if it feels like there's quite a bit to take in because I'm going to break it down in just some really, really simple snapshot of what we've learned at the end. You're loving it. Thank you, Mama. I'm loving that you're here and beautiful energy. I can feel it coming through the screen at me. All right. The very last training is how to amplify your impact and influence through purpose. So now we know the secrets of a trusted leader. Let me show you how they amplify their impact through purpose. The only pathway to lasting impact and influence is to understand the distinctions between your soul's purpose, your dharmic path, and your current purpose. Right now, can you think of what your current purpose is right now in this very present moment? You can use your paper and pen, the digital workbook we have given you, the link at the start, or you can pop it in the chat. Do you know your soul's purpose? This is what did you come here to do, to experience, to learn and to teach in this lifetime? Like what is this soul purpose? And are you on your dharmic path? This is right action. Are you taking the right action? Are you in alignment and flow? Are you on path in the right direction? Thanks, Jay. Jay's just popped that workbook link there if you wanted to grab it. Now, here is why this is so important. Understanding these three aspects of dharma or purpose will keep you grounded in your truth. When you shift your focus from external validation and societal expectations to inner alignment and purpose-driven action, everything changes. You break free from the confines of external pressures and discover a sense of liberation, authenticity, and joy. You become a conduit for your soul's purpose, making a tangible difference in the world while experiencing deep fulfillment in your own life. Can you think of someone that is so connected to their purpose? Do you view them as an authentic leader? Do you recognize their presence? Do you trust what they have to say? Think of someone now, like let's just do this little exercise. Think of someone that maybe you follow on social media or on Instagram or someone doing really great things in the world, or perhaps someone you know personally who is deeply connected to their purpose and creating influence and impact through that connection. Just quickly think of it. Who, who's first, top of mind, just pop it in the chat box. Who are these people of influence connected to their purpose? Sahara Rose, Dr. Amanda Jason, your husband, Susie, I love that. Yep. Amazing. Wonderful leaders. Now, 
here on the slide, these are some examples of people who are creating great influence and impact in the world by being connected to their purpose. Your husband's a kids performer. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that so much and deeply connected to it. Beautiful. So we've got, and uh, Kama said, someone she knows who mixes flowers, essence, and kinesiology. I love that. That's amazing. Good. Now, we want people to be typing your name, guys, when they think of influence and purpose and connection, okay? But here's some more examples. We've got Malala. She's known for uh, as an education activist and Nobel Peace Prize winner. She's advocating for girls' education and women's rights globally. We have Richard Branson, who's known as the founder of the Virgin Group, and his purpose is really promoting entrepreneurship and innovation and creating impactful businesses. We have Nelson Mandela, known for the anti-apartheid revolutionary, and he's a former president of South Africa. Now, his purpose is fighting for equality, justice, and reconciliation in South Africa and around the world. And then we have Greta Thunberg, the young Swedish environmentalist activist known for challenging world leaders to take immediate action to mitigate the effects of human-caused climate change. I have personally witnessed the remarkable transformations of my students and clients as they elevate their lives through dharmic impact. Whether they are dedicated to building the soul of their business or on a journey of personal growth, embracing dharmic impact has been the pivotal catalyst that propels them towards a life of purpose. Now, I ask you, do you feel that you are on your dharmic path in, uh, in alignment? You can type it in the chat. Oh, hey, Jess. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's Jess Kidman. <laughs> Beautiful. Do you, do you feel like you are on your dharmic path? Yes, Mel does. Beautiful. Love that. Now, other ways, once you you feel and you understand your, your dharmic path and your purpose, there is ways to share your purpose, your mission and message with the world to create more influence and impact. Just says, yes, but my path needs more refining. Okay, beautiful. And you're on your way. I love that. So it's really good to reflect on these things, right? It's really good to take that time into reflection. Once we do have like this deeper understanding of our purpose, our mission and message, with we can share it with the world. And ways we can do that is going on podcasts. So going on to other people's podcasts, sharing it with their um, their audience, collaboration and events with other health promo um, professionals. So I know Jess owns Miami Yoga Room, a beautiful yoga studio. And she does a lot of collaborations with other health professionals. Like that's such a great way to build authority. Networking events where you're literally going and just be, remember what I said at the start, that you need to be sitting at the right table. That's one of the truths. You need to be sitting at the table with other health and wellness professionals that are trusted industry leaders. So go to those events where they're at. You can do some charity work. Some charity networking is so beautiful. We do a lot of charity events um, with a specific charity, um, Destiny Rescue, that helps children who have gone through sex trafficking and we love, love working with them. Uh, be a guest speaker at events or summits or up in other people's programs. Social media, pick up your game, guys. Like share your message. That's just an easy free platform for you to share your message and through workshops and masterclasses. Yeah. So this is really good if you, like, for instance, if you are a yoga studio owner, like you have the opportunity to share your personal message through a workshop or masterclass. I know Susie, if you're here, she has been sharing beautiful Ayurvedic workshops in her local area in Victoria, and she's been promoting them on um, social media. And it's just such a beautiful way where you can really share your message. Like I'm doing today, guys, I'm sharing my message, my dharma, my passion and I love it. So we have now covered the three lessons and you might be feeling a little overwhelmed by all of the info or perhaps you're inspired and ready to take action but either way you're probably thinking oh, wow that was a lot. So I know I've shared a lot with you today 
but I want to break it down into just three pillars that really matter. So everything, and I mean everything I have discussed today, falls into these three categories. And when they all come together, you will finally be able to step into your higher self, help your clients do that same thing thing, step into this higher self and inevitably become a trusted leader and elevate your presence in the health and wellness industry. So I've created one methodology that consists of three pillars, which is the soul of my business and the guiding force in everything I do within my business. This is the higher self method. So I use my higher self methodology for my women's health clients to guide my sessions and in my Alchemist program, my Ayurveda Alchemist program. Because at the end of the day, like I mentioned earlier, whether they want to heal their hormones or whether they want to create a beautiful, abundant business, the ultimate goal is to step into their higher self and create holistic success. So my higher self methodology with my three pillars is all about creating that holistic success. That is the soul of my business and everything I do. You can see on the left-hand side, this is the higher self methodology framework and then how I've implemented it into the Ayurveda Alchemist Academy as well. So using the health alchemy, dharmic impact and the empowered mind paradigm. So when we break it all down, here are three pillars that really matter. The first one is health alchemy. So optimize your client's results by treating their individual bioconstitution to achieve health alchemy. So important. And I've discussed why many a times throughout this presentation. Number two is you need to step into the empowered mind paradigm and implement belief shifts that will elevate your success. Again, we went through that through Ayurvedic psychology and why that's so important. And number three is create more impact through purpose by building out the soul of your business, a unique framework that aligns with your dharmic path, which we have covered extensively in this presentation as well. Now, beautiful Mel, who is here with us today, I am going to share, this was one of her testimonials back in the day, but Mel has actually became our student success mentor in the Ayurveda Alchemist program. She applied the higher self methodology. And now she is not only our student success mentor, but she's also running one-to-one -one client work, running programs, live events in her business as well through her own unique methodology, the soul of her business. I want you guys to know this, that you have everything it takes to become a trusted leader and yeah. elevate your presence in the health and wellness industry. Now you can Google all of the information you need, but trusted leaders always implement the information. This is one of the key things, guys, implement the information. So are you after information or implementation? Are you ready to bottle up your unique experience and expertise and turn it into a profitable health and wellness business? Do you want to create something that's leverageable asset and add a new revenue stream to your business? Are you game to put in the work now and create more flexibility and freedom in your business? The Ayurveda Alchemist Academy gives you that and more. So there's no more Google searching, no more trying to reverse engineer other people's success because you're going to create your own. There's no more piecing together outdated strategies, fad wellness trends, or one size fit all health approaches. You're going to fast track your success by working with someone who has been where you are and can hand over the system, resources, and tools to get you the results that you want. So in the Ayurveda Alchemist, it is a curriculum and coaching for health and wellness professionals to create more impact, income, and independence. There are three elements of this program to ensure your success. We have a complete curriculum, a step-by-step -step curriculum that's clear and actionable. We have stripped away any of the confusion or fluff so that you can focus on what really matters. You get instant access so that you can come to it at any time and you get 12 months of the education portal access, but you get lifetime access to the live calls and private community. We offer a hybrid approach of pre-recorded and live online classes for optimal learning environment. 
Now, this is a, another testimonial. This program has changed my entire vision and plans for the future. You're empowering people to take control back of their lives. Plus, I've never seen anything with so much value. Our curriculum is based on my higher self method, guys. We take you through our signature higher self method to ensure that you graduate with confidence as well as personal transformation. Like I said, number one, health alchemy. We teach you how to access or assess, sorry, the bioconstitution of an individual so that you can take the five-step approach to alchemizing anyone's health, including your own. Number two, empowered mind paradigm. No one heals or creates an abundant business from a disempowered mindset. We teach you how to apply Ayurvedic psychology to overcome any limiting beliefs holding you back so that you can step into a new empowered mind paradigm. And dharmic impact. We help you amplify your impact and influence through purpose. We will show you how to create the soul of your business that will change hundreds of people's lives, including your own. And then you become a trusted leader in the health and wellness industry. When you follow our higher self method and step into our inner circle of supported Ayurveda alchemists, you will become a trusted leader in the health and wellness industry. You get life support and coaching to help you through the process. We never want to leave you hanging without a question. So you get access to me and our coaching team for support. You get a one-to-one -one call with our student success mentor. You get three monthly group calls. They're included in your enrollment and you can participate in our student-only Facebook group to get the most out of your experience. Again, here's a whole lot of testimonials of people that have done the program that are loving the program. You've created such an amazing course, Harmony. I'm absolutely loving each module. I keep re-listening to the module. So grateful for your off effort. So grateful. That was just one of the posts that was popped in our private Facebook group. And number three, community and lifelong friendships. This community will become your biggest cheerleaders, your go-to support system, and you will make lifelong friends. Collaborations that will amplify your business. Remember, sitting at the right table so you never do it alone again. This is a little pic of our Goddess Day retreat in 2023. We, you can see the beautiful aura of all of the amazing women that came to that day. You also get a free ticket, a one or free ticket to this retreat as well. So some questions. Will I be qualified Ayurveda health coach? Yes, this is an accredited certified program qualifying you as an Ayurveda holistic health coach. The Ayurveda Alchemist Academy is accredited through My Health Association. You'll be qualified in areas of Ayurvedic psychology, women's health, rejuvenation therapies, Ayurveda cleansers, dosha analysis, Ayurveda health coaching, limiting core beliefs, Ayurvedic nutrition, men's health, and so much more. How do I know if this will work for me? You might be thinking, well, if you show up and you do the work, it's not a matter of if it will work for you, but it is a matter of accepting the great transformation and possibilities that you will achieve in your personal life, your businesses and the lives of others. Every student has who has completed the program has significantly improved their life in some way from before they started. And that's even the students that started this with no intention of running a business. So I've had students just join for their own personal health journey and they've got so much out of it. You will gain great insight wisdom as you go through the teaching. Now, the results, they are dependent on your commitment to getting results. So they do differ from person to person, but you will get supported to excel. So you need to be ready to put in the effort and show up and make the most out of the program and boldly step into your higher self. But we have had students double their income, publish books, run high-end retreats, speak on stages, podcasts, and even leave their corporate jobs to pursue their career as an Ayurveda holistic health coach. If you believe in yourself as much as we believe in you, then it will work. It works for you guys. Does the support expire after 12 months? No. If you sign up now, you will get lifetime access to the live calls, including the monthly mindset, the Ayurveda embodiment and business calls, plus any future guest expert. You will also get lifetime access to the Facebook community. The only thing that expires is the, the education portal access, but you can renew it yearly for a really, really, really low, low cost. Now, Jay has put in the chat box the enrollment link if you are ready. So if you're ready to be an Ayurveda Alchemist for Life, the 
link is in the chat box now. Now, I get this a lot. I'm time poor. What is the time commitment? Well, you know, guys, we're all a little time poor. Like, hey, I'm running a business. I have twin boys who sports like a full-time job. I'm studying a master's degree at university and have been running, which has been going for the last four years. I run three successful businesses and somehow make time for my husband too. So where are you spending your time? If you did a time audit, you might be surprised. However, in saying all of that, I do get it. We still want to create lots of space for our rituals, fun, and friends too. And I'm all for that. So is Ayurveda, which is why we teach you how to create more time through the Dinacharya module. We have also set up the program so that if you dedicate two hours a week to your study, you will get it finished in no times, no problem at all. And I bet that you're looking at your phone set. If you looked at your phone settings right now, it would tell you that you have scrolled on socials far more than two hours a week. <laughs> we also have a student success mentor to support you along the way. And we are prepared to help you not only get through the program, but succeed. So the time commitment, have you got two hours a week to learn a new medicine, optimize your health and up level your business? Are there any other bonuses you might ask besides all that? Well, we have a guest speaker series. So these are some of our guests that we've had. We're talking about mastering your messaging and positioning your offer to sell with Holly McCure, pregnancy and postpartum care with Christine Eck. We've got personal branding, business foundations, money mindset, Ayurvedic rituals, and so much more. You get workbooks and, workbooks and tools, the online portal, self-paced pre-recorded modules, and weekly calls for the first three weeks of the month. Now, this the price to enroll in Ayurveda Alchemist today is only 2999 Yes, if you use the code I'm in, you will get $500 off, giving you it for this price. It's usually three and a half grand. So you can use the code I'm in, which Jay will pop down in the, the um, chat box. Or that's for the paid in full. If you do want 200, if you want a payment plan, you want $200 off, you can use the code AA200. Now, the value has been looked at, the value of this course is over $15,000 worth of value. But you will get it for only $299 with that $500 off code today. So we do offer the payment plan and we do offer pay in full. So it's your choice. Now, the return on investment is clear, guys. If you were to sell, so you've set up the soul of your business, you've worked on your dharma, your message, all of the things, you've learned all the Ayurvedic skills, you've integrated everything that we've taught you, and you graduate, and then you sell a $97 workshop to 10 uh -huh. students, that's almost $1,000 that you'll be getting for that one workshop you run. If you ran that three times a year, you've already made $3,000. You've already paid off your full program. If you sell a $297 cleanse program to four students, that's 1,188. Do that a few times a year. If you sell a $997 one-to-one -to -one program to four students, you've well exceeded how much you would have <laughs> paid for the program. And if you book out four one-to-one -one coaching clients at $750, then that's 3,000. 3, so you can see the return on investment. And if that wasn't valuable enough, I know that you love soul connection and sisterhood. So we are adding a bonus ticket to our one day goddess day retreat on the Gold Coast. You will also get some extra gifts. You get a the wellness hub so you can access some online yoga Pilates classes, Ayurvedic recipe books, $250 worth of vouchers for business coaching and more. Again, these are some little sneaky chat um, snippets of some of the chat in the Facebook group of our beautiful members. Um, you can see Nat said, yes, super excited to experience and um, to experience and cleanse and have the group support. So we do run a group Ayurvedic cleanse, which is actually coming up at the end of winter and everyone gets to do a group cleanse together as well. We do fun things like that. Another testimonial just saying that like, you know, how, how much that it has helped change the trajectory of their life. So all you need to start is a willingness to learn and transform. But if you're nervous, don't be. We do offer a 100% money back guarantee if 
you sign up today and you decide it's not you and you let us know by email within the seven days of enrollment, then we just give you your money back. So you can go in, check it out, come to a class if it's within the seven days of enrollment and that's it because I know it'll work for you. If you're a health practitioner, a healer, Pilates, yoga instructor, naturopath, spiritual leader, holistic health enthusiast, Reiki master, it works for you. So here's some more facts. You can read through those. Um, the, you get lots of support. I've spoke about that. So guys, finally, I want to ask you, what would it mean to you to fully step into your higher self, become a trusted leader in the health and wellness industry and make a positive impact in the lives of others? Think about that, guys. And that's a question that you can even contemplate after this presentation. It starts, like it really starts with becoming an Ayurveda alchemist. Your health, wealth, and life transformation starts now. It's your turn to become a trusted leader in the industry. So I am looking forward to seeing you inside of the Ayurveda Alchemist for those of you who are going to join us in our great mission. And now I'm going to open the floor for any questions. Does anyone have any questions over anything that we have learned today that you would like to ask? doesn't have to be regarded re relating to the program. It can be about anything you've learned. So, well, I thank you all so much for joining us today. And I hope you all have a really wonderful day and go away, use those workbooks and think about like, Think about your, your dharmic path, your soul's mission. What is what is the soul of your business? How are you going to create that with the pillars? Like how are you going to step into your higher self? Because the time is now. And as I mentioned, the trends are that there is 50% more people looking for health and wellness services than there was before 2020. So it is your turn, time to shine, guys. You just need the foundation set up. You need that strategy, the soul of your business. You need to learn the the now you know the three secrets of becoming a trusted leader. You need to implement that information that you've been taught and you need to wholeheartedly step into your role as a trusted leader. Thank you so much, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed it.